Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Boys, we are one day away. Tomorrow is the big day. The web app is coming. FIFA 21 Ultimate Team is almost here. We can literally taste it, all right? So I wanna take you through some last minute web app tips because that's gonna be coming out tomorrow, September 30th. We're gonna see the web app, the first chance that we have to get on our Ultimate Teams to start our foot career or your, your foot journey inside of FIFA 21. So we're going to talk about some last minute stuff just to kind of get the mind right and prepare you guys and your minds for the big day that is tomorrow. Now, of course, a lot of people are in a lot of different situ situations with FIFA points, with no FIFA points. Some people can't even access the companion app on the market or the web app. Um, but once the first things first, we can actually see a little bit of what the web app is going to look like based off of these images right here. Now, this is just the web app. Um, this is actually the web app page. So tomorrow uh, at, I think 6 p.m. UK, on Wednesday, tomorrow is when you're gonna start to see this update and you should be able to get into your, your FIFA 21 web app and your ultimate team. Of course, you'll have your pre-order packs. You'll wanna rip those right away. And then it's all about SBCs, the advanced SBCs that should be out. If they don't drop advanced SBCs, that's going to be crazy because there's literally going to be no demand for like any cards on the market. So it's going to be very hard to trade, very hard to do that stuff until EA access. But I don't, I don't imagine EA uh, not releasing at least some sort of advanced SBC or some sort of SBC to get us off the ground. But hopefully they don't change that. Hopefully the packs are tradable, all that good stuff. But regardless, that's going to be what you want to do first is get those advanced SBCs done right away. And of course, right now, we don't know the whole entire database. And this is something that I wanted to kind of look at with you guys just a little bit is there are so many SBC players out there that are 77 rated and below. Even some, you know, we do know a couple 75s from leaked cards and teams that have shown their, their players, but all of the non-rare cards in this game, we have no idea. There are so many other cards out there since we don't have the full database that's big. The fact that we don't have the full database by now is honestly, it's very different. Usually we have the full database. We can see, hey, Argentinian left backs are very, very rare. Uh, like last year, that's where it's a very popular place to be trading, right? Uh, let me take off gold non rare and just see how many Argentina left backs we have. All right, we have a couple, okay? There's probably going to be some more that are lower than 77 rated that didn't make it into the top 1,000, but we're not going to know those players until when the web app actually comes out. So that's going to be huge, especially on the amount of time it takes Flipin to update and to add all those players. It's going to be very important for you if you're somebody who is a, a mastermind trader where you're looking to make coins right away is figuring out which positions, which nationalities are needed for those advanced SBCs and which of those positions and or maybe the, the players or the lack of players that are in the full game database um, would make those players possibly get it rare and expensive for those advanced SBCs. So that's something if you're going to be able to uh, to to work on the fly and to be able to be, um, I guess, think ahead and think quickly with some of those SBC rares and non rares for those advanced SBCs, that's going to be massive. And again, since people aren't really going to know what cards are out on the market, they're going to be going towards SBC solutions, right? Just we talk, like we talked about last year in FIFA 20, the advanced SBCs, people use solutions for SBCs all the time, and it's going to be no different in the first couple days of FIFA 21. Hybrid nations or hybrid leagues, if one or, or both of these come out, you're going to have people that are going to be using these SBC solutions. So trading with the cards that you see in here is going to be fantastic. They're going to fluctuate up and down um, just because some people will start to see that as the cheapest SBC. Again, we talked about this in one of my earlier videos, uh, how to start FIFA 20 Ultimate Team. But uh, that's what everybody is doing on that first day of the web app. When you first are able to log in, you're just trying to get those coins up some way, some shape, in some form. If you're trying to trade on the market, you only want to trade with SBC fodder because there's really not people buying teams. Most people that are on the app are going to be maybe buying a couple starter players for their starter squads, but mostly it's going to be doing SBC to try to recuperate those coins. And people are going to be selling those SBC players that they pack from those SBC tradable packs and that's where you're going to see some possibility for some undercuts, for some open bid listings, for some bids and stuff like that to be able to flip cards and make coins. It's going to be a grind. All right. I'm telling you, you're only going to be looking for a couple hundred coins of profit 
per card on most of these items when you first get the web app opened up and start trading with some of these either non-rare cards or some of these SBC solutions. You're gonna be looking for very, very small profits. And then that first night and into the next day of EA Access, you're, it's, it's all gonna be about buying those meta players that we talked about that are cheap, you know, cheap enough depending on your price range. But also, if you're somebody who's putting on FIFA points um, and you're getting your coins up quicker, uh, that you're going to want to get into some of those players really, really fast. Now, I wanted to just make this general note as well. Looking at this graph from Alan St. Maximin from last year, right? This dude, okay, Thursday, September 19th, last year, the web app came out on Wednesday, September 18th, I believe was the actual date that it came out. And then see this Thursday, his price is at 8,000 coins and he goes up to 9K by Friday where he actually ends up going extinct uh, the day after. You don't have to, just don't be so worried about getting as many coins as you can on that first day or that first night. Yes, it is very important that you do, but if you're not able to that first day, let's say you're busy or something on Wednesday, tomorrow for the web app, but you got more time on Thursday or something, there's going to be more increased prices on Thursday, but it's still going to be investable. The first three days for most cards are going to be investable. If we look at a lot of the graphs from last year, especially if it's a really meta card that's gonna make it into people's teams for an, another week or two, as long as you can buy that card before Friday. Before Friday is kind of when you wanna have those cards purchased because then we're gonna look to sell Saturday into Sunday um, with some of the lower level cards, like you know last year's version of Joe Gomez or maybe maybe this year's version of a Klosterman or um, some of those low rated cards like Van Anholt that is possibly gonna be pretty expensive, but also low rated, gonna get hit with some supply later. You're going to want to buy those players on Wednesday or Thursday but don't beat yourself up if you only have like 10, 15,000 coins when we come to the end of the day on Wednesday, getting in from the web app. Now, hopefully you have a little bit more because you'll pack something sick from advanced SBCs. But of course, you, you kind of just have to roll with the punches. Everybody starts from the same spot, right? And somebody might pack a really big card to get out a gate and be really fast. But you know what? You, your account might be different and that's just fine, all right? Roll with the punches, just keep trudging along, keep plugging along, and if you get a slow start, you'll be able to catch up. There's going to be so many ways to make coins throughout this year, but don't get too discouraged if you have a slow start on Wednesday or even on Thursday with the start of the web app and EA Access coming out. That's one thing that I wanted to say too, because I'm a slow starter. I'm going to be completely honest. I usually start slower because I don't have much time because I'm at work, right? Wearing this stuff, typing on the computer, doing the accounting things that I do every day. Okay, so if you, you might have more, some of you guys might have more coins than me by the end of the night, Wednesday or Thursday. I bet that, that's a fact. Some of you will, but I'm just saying, don't get discouraged, all right? It's a long haul, baby, and we are just in the first day. Tomorrow's just the first day of like a nine month journey on FIFA Ultimate Team, ending through like, you know, team of the season, all that garb. So there's a long way to go, man, all right? You got a lot of time to catch up. That's all I'm gonna say about that. So, web app again, coming out, rip those packs open. Rip, hopefully the objective packs come out right away. I mean, they talked about in the deep dive uh, or the ultimate team launch update that a lot of this stuff was going to come on October 1st. So I wouldn't expect to see a lot of this early access objectives or, um, you know, any of this stuff really come out in the game yet. Uh, that's probably going to be a Thursday and a Friday type thing. Um, so don't expect to see a lot of this yet. I'll, honestly, all I expect to see on Thursday is just the availability to get into our ultimate teams to do just something, open packs, and start to accumulate and start to trade with all of these cards that we've talked about. So again, Wednesday is probably going to be a decent day, but it's almost just building in the hype into Thursday and Friday. From what I've seen on Twitter, it looks like, especially today or yesterday with EA releasing the soundtracks, there's going to be some sort of like event, live stream, uh, with EA and some of the soundtrack artists and like some of the, you know, players that are in this game. I, I forget what they call them, like not groundbreakers, but w whatever the star players are that are inside this game, you know, probably Trent Alexander-Arnold, Jao Felix, uh, Holland. There's going to be some, I think they're going to even get involved somehow. They're really trying to make this like a spectacle for the start of the new FIFA. So just kind of be aware of that. Be on the lookout on Twitter. There's going to be a lot of stuff put out on tomorrow and on Thursday. So just kind of to put that in your minds, just so that you're not surprised when you see sort of those things. Um, but yeah, also what we're going to see on Wednesday is this right here, team of the week, number 
one. Now, this is just a prediction, of course, but team of the week number one is looking kind of stacked. If you didn't watch my video yesterday, these are going to be great investments. A lot of these cards, whoever does end up getting in, going to be fantastic investments. We talked about it in that video for sure. This is by Patrick, Simple Blue 88. I'll drop the link to this prediction in the description. Uh, but Ben Yedder, Ansu Fati, Lozano, Suarez, Vardy, there could be some big names. And these could all be players that you pack from your pre-order packs or from uh, maybe your objective packs that EA rewarded from the preseason promo in Foot 20, if you have any of those. These are all players that you might be able to get lucky enough to pack day one when you open your packs on Foot. So, uh, GLs, you know, of course, <laughs> if you're opening some packs, and uh, hopefully you pack one of these guys. But again, I just want to make a quick run-through video today just on what just some last minute tips, right? Trading, it's all about the SBC fodder players. Again, the non-rares, we don't even know the full database. So squad solutions on Footbin, Foothead, and Footwiz are going to be massive. Looking through as Footbin updates this database, or honestly just going by yourself on the market and looking up filters on the web app, searching left backs, right backs, center backs, um, right wings, left wings, strikers, for different nationalities, for different positions, looking at the actual SBCs themselves and noticing what the formation is, right? If there's a three back formation like we have here, just knowing and thinking, hey, okay, I need three center backs for this. I need a right mid, a left mid, and I need some strong links. So even guys like, th like this, like Kono, Kono Plianka is a FIFA 20 card. This dude in FIFA 21 there may not be cards like this. There are random cards out there that are just going for two to 3,000 coins because that's what they're going for on Footbin, and that's the cheapest solution so you can make coins off of it. So that's just something that you kind of have to be aware of, think on the fly with, and uh, as you're starting to build your coin balance, again, silvers are going to be great because silvers that link well, uh, championship league silvers that are, are English silvers, rare silvers, those are always good to trade with, right? Top five league silvers as well. I haven't talked much about those, but that's a very viable way to trade early on as well because a lot of these squads, you don't need all gold players. You can have some bronzes and silvers to include in there. So just look through the SBC solutions. When those come out, there's going to be a massive, massive help for you. Good luck while opening your packs. And uh, yeah, if you're referencing what to sell and what to keep, I have another video on that. Uh, it's called Keep or Sell. So check out that video. And uh, yeah, boys, the wait is basically over. It is tomorrow's the day, man. Last minute tips. I just wanted to bring this video to you guys to kind of help out. And of course, to say thank you as well, man. I think we're about to hit 15,000 subscribers on this channel, which is unbelievable. Uh, the amount of support you guys have shown me recently on these videos is just ridiculously insane. And I appreciate every single one of you that clicks on the video and listens to me talk about FIFA 21 Ultimate Team. Hopefully I'm helping you guys because that is my main entire goal by doing this and making these videos. So if you did enjoy it, smash a thumbs up, comment down below if you have any questions or comments, and of course, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Good luck on your FIFA 21 Ultimate Team journey, and I hope you'll stick with me to go all the way through it. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you later. Peace out.